about 10 minutes ago. About 10 minutes ago in a staff meeting. Yeah, I, I have, I need to get back in there. No, they weren't in my pocket. They weren't in my purse because they weren't in the medicine cabinet. Lisa, the guys you bring over have got to stop taking my Xanax. Shoot, I have to go, but, but don't hang up. Sit down. I'm fine. Sit down, tell me what's happening. I just need a minute. I'm gonna check your pulse. You really don't have to. Shh. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Where are you right now? Are you having trouble breathing? Can you hear me? I'm on the upper terrace of the AWM building. Yes, and obviously yes. Are you a nurse? Some guys I was embedded with used to get panic attacks. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. It feels like it, but you're not going to. You were in the second stage of the A Anxiety Manual, Army Field Manual FM 2251, New Infantry Adaptation to a Threatening Situation. I'm in Midtown Manhattan, Gomer Pyle. You're in Fallujah. Start breathing from your abdomen. Think of something safe, something you like. Uh, YouTube kittens. <laughs> I wish your face would stop moving so I could punch it. You're here. You're a part of this group. Everyone likes you. Well, except for Carla and bookkeeping because she thinks you're rude, but... I should get back to the meeting. The meeting's over, stay put. What did the copies go after? It's done. You can check it for yourself later. He's going after the Koch brothers. If you want something to worry about, I give you six to five, pick them up this time tomorrow night, the building blows up. Did you see a doctor? He prescribed Xanax. Did you take one? Didn't have it with me. Someone like you should always have one in your pocket or your purse. I'll remember that. Keep breathing. You're safe. You're awesome. I'm gonna check your pulse again, okay? How is it? Better. A minute ago, it was like you were under sniper fire. They were good guys, the guys you were embedded with. They were some of the best guys I ever met folks are a close second. Don's hands are tied. Plus, he's driving the same car as Mac. Elliot's smart, but he can't do what Will does. And his salary is tied to ratings, so... Why are you telling me this? Because he's a good guy, and you two should be friends. Look, in the five months I've been here, you two have broken up four times and gotten back together five times. So there must be some kind of strong connection. Was that sarcastic? No. Really? Yeah. Okay, that was obviously sarcastic. It wasn't. You know, I never knew what the word smug meant until I met you. You're 26, and you didn't know what the word smug meant until this year? Right there. I wasn't trying to be sarcastic. You two obviously have something. My advice is to stop breaking up. Learn how to have a fight. Go on, Dr. Phil. Are you breathing normally? Follow my finger. You have a graphics producer waiting in the edit bay.